right, I'll be shooting another video for um, National Novel Writing Month week of videos. Uh, this week, or uh, this, today's episode is a, um, a classic science fiction show, one episode, it is The Shadow, The Invisible Avenger, and uh, I'll take a look at that. And then I give my feedback and ideas that inspired. So I'll see you on the other side. assessment of The Shadow, The Invisible Avenger. Mm, I would have to say I was not overly impressed. I would give it a 4.2 out of a 7.3. My issue with that was it really seemed like you... the whole story never even needed the shadow in it. Um, it was essentially just Anyway, <laughs> it was, it could have been done better. The villains are completely incompetent and the hero doesn't actually contribute much. Uh, no mystery was ever really laid out. There was no real mystery to solve. It was a story that really feels like it didn't need to be told. But there are elements in it. Unfortunately, it requires that I sort of resort to picking up the best part of it, which is the idea of uh, the hero of the shadow and uh, the things he can do and mixing it up a little to come up with new ideas. So, let's get into that. So, a scene where he's in shadow form taking or writing something down on a piece of paper which is a shadow, and he's writing with a shadow pen, and then he sets down the note, and it's real paper so that they can look at it. It's always real paper, but they don't see it that way. It makes me think of uh, a character who uses the shadow of an object. So if I hold this up and it casts a shadow on my hand, can I use the shadow of this item separate from using this item. So a shadow gun could shoot, a shadow knife could cut. Um, if you're somewhere and you can't reach an object but you can reach the shadow, or if you need something that's, you know, you don't have to carry a lot of stuff on you, you're just carrying the shadow and you can use the item. I kind of like the idea of being able to use a shadow if it's, as if it's the real item. The Shadow's disguise ability, where he kind of goes invisible. He doesn't really do that, he makes people unable to see him, but not by fudging around with light or anything like that. It's mainly just by making, sort of hypnotizing people to think that they, they there's nobody there. Um, uh, but it has me thinking about a lot of those uh, stories about uh, developing the perfect camouflage for military or things like that where you can't see them either through cloaking or through a adaptive perfect camouflage that sort of like the chameleon blends into his background. I think it would be fun to take that instead of doing like a hero I'd like to do a, a very like simple straight up um, art heist movie, or um, a, a heroic um, archaeologist um, taking things from dark cultists um, and um, 
moving them from one saint to another. A very Indiana Jones, but if Indiana Jones had the ability to seemingly become invisible. But the invisibility only works for himself. His shadow is still invisible. So, not invisibility, but a person who could change their appearance. So, um, going from a tall, fat man to a short, um, athletic woman or something to that effect, but their shadow is always their actual form. And it might even be fun to do it from the perspective of nobody knows what his real form is, but they have hints from the shadow as to what that person might look like, and they're always trying to guess who that person is based on the shadow. A hypnotist as a hero or heroine. Um, I like the idea of like a Holmesian detective consultant or private investigator who uses hypnotism to unlock clues or um, get somebody to uh, trigger somebody to do something at the right moment that um, sets off a clue that you wouldn't otherwise be able to get access to um, or unlock hidden memories um, or um, convince somebody something's true when it's clearly not. Um, using hypnotism as a gimmick for a procedural or a um, mystery solving technique. Um, which is a person who has been hypnotized but doesn't remember the actual hypnotism but is occasionally taken over by the programmed personality when a trigger sets it off. And so he's he's kind of left in a position of being a passenger in his own body or her body. And um, it lasts until um, one condition is met and he's not he or she is not aware of when the next trigger will go off. They have to figure out what's happening and head it off at the pass and then get control of themselves and become the, the person left in that body. It, it might also be interesting to hit a point in the story where the question becomes who is the implanted personality and who is the real person. Final idea on this one was what about a person without a shadow at all? You have somebody who's sold their shadow to a demon or is a vampire or maybe just doesn't have one and doesn't know why. You could do it sort of as a, a mystery to figure out what's causing it. Um, does it affect uh, sensors on automatic doors? Does it, um, does it affect their ability to uh, reflect in mirrors or have a photography taken or any of that stuff. Um, it's sort of like a mystery of who are you, but at the same time treated as like a special ability and used in a way to maybe do jobs that get them information from somebody who has that information about what their situation is that they don't have. You don't know who you are. You don't know why you don't have a shadow and you don't know why you don't reflect, but this person does know and you have to use your the advantages of not being able to be fo photographed or caught on video or reflecting or casting a shadow to do a job for them and they'll piece out information to you about why you're like that. Are you a ghost? Are you a vampire? Um, so. That's, that's pretty much the ideas I walk away from the shadow with. Like I said, the story really didn't require the shadow, and the shadow didn't really require the story, but um, those are the ideas I got away from with it.
So hopefully that inspired you to something and uh, we're going to be looking at another movie episode or uh, TV program tomorrow. I uh, hope to see you then. Alright, take care.